Greetings, YouTubians, and welcome back to Wayne Sharp World, where we have found ourselves at the beginning of another week, meaning you know what time it is, Wayne Sharp Week, highlighting the knives that are going to be in my pocket for the next five days. Now, for this week, I wanted to kind of take a play from my video that I uploaded on, I believe, Friday of my current all-time favorite knives under $100. In that video, I mentioned five knives, although looking back at it, I think I may have only mentioned four knives. I think I may have forgotten to mention the fifth knife. Um, but I had five knives that, out of all the knives I had in that video, I really did love every one of them. But there was five that were a little elevated above the rest, at least in my opinion, for my personal preferences and what I enjoy in a knife. Um, so I'm going to carry those five this week just because I did that video and it kind of reminded me just how much I like those knives. I wanted to give them a little extra spotlight and I also have to address an elephant in the room that I accidentally omitted a knife from that video. Um, the reasoning for it, I will explain when I get to that knife, um, but I'll, I'll bring that knife up at the end of this video because it's still a fantastic knife. Kind of an oldie but a goodie, but it should have definitely been in that video, and I just dropped the ball and, and, and didn't get it in that video. So I couldn't really go back and edit it and, and make a whole new video after all the views and all the exposure. Um, so I want to bring that knife up in this video, and I'll try and give it a little more love here in the upcoming future. Um, but with that being said, before we get right into it, I want to thank all my subscribers sponsors up here um for their great support of my channel um it'd be very hard to do what i do without their support so dlt trading mojave outdoor and white mountain knives as well as caviso um in the past you guys have heard me mention caviso outdoors they're going through a bit of a rebranding process so they are now just caviso and uh hopefully have more on that uh coming up here pretty soon within the next couple weeks um, to help hopefully introduce you guys a little more to Caviso if you're not very familiar with them to begin with. So with that being said, let's get into this list and uh, take a look at what I'm going to be carrying this week. And we're going to start off with probably the most basic of the five, and that's the Civivi Brazen. I, I don't really know what to say about these knives at this point because I've said so much about them uh, on that all-time favorite video and in the past. But the Brazen is just probably my my perfect size of a knife um it's got the multiple deployment methods which i love it's got the thumb studs and it's got the flipper um it's got a detent that's just dialed in and it really at the end of the day when you look at this knife it is definitely the most basic knife that's going to be you're going to see on today's uh weekly carry and, you know, for some reason, it just doesn't get old on me. I, I love that blade shape. I love this handle. Um, the thumb studs are good. The pocket clip's good. It, it's it's just a super solid knife. And the $49.80, the, the under $50 price tag is what really keeps this at the top for me, along with that 14C 28N steel. Just a fantastic knife, and you can't go wrong with it. Could you get more flashy, attractive knives? You probably could, depending on, you know, what you prefer, what you think is a fancy and attractive knife. Uh, but this is just a really good one, and you just really, in my opinion, you can't go wrong with it. it it's just an excellent EDC, um, unless there's some laws saying you got to have a shorter blade because this is coming in around three and a half inches. Maybe then you got some issues, but outside of that... This boy's just good to go at a very, very nice price, the Civivi Brazen. Now, next up, we've got this big cleaver here, the Kaiser Sheepdog with the Flipper Delete. Definitely, by far and away, the best Sheepdog ever brought out by Kaiser. The Flipper Delete really does make it a completely different knife in kind of how it carries. Absolutely the ergonomics. It's a huge change to the ergonomics and you still have that nice slicey blade with a very nice black wash. I love Kaiser's black wash. I've said it many many times in the past. I don't love a coated blade but I do enjoy a good black wash blade because it kind of takes away the worry of what you get from what you don't want from a fully coated blade of the scratch marks and the you know how it looks after some use and some people like that i don't know i mean you know we spend money on these knives and i think everyone even though we do like to use them and i'm sure people use the knives hard and you know you get your value out of them as long as you enjoy them in my opinion it doesn't matter whether you use them or not if you enjoy them and you're happy to have this product we're called a product because it's a tool but it's also a product that's being sold as a product 
um, and you're happy with it, that you know that's a huge majority of the value and the reason to buy it. So, um, but at the end of the day, you still want to keep them looking nice. And I think the black wash really helps hide scratches and and use marks and you know anything that may get on the blade, some residue or whatnot. It, it does a good job of hiding it. As to where sometimes a fully coated blade kind of highlights it. So, uh, worth noting. But the, the the fidget factor on this guy. If you like middle finger flicking knives. This is definitely one to look at, um, even if you just like regular thumb deployment. Very, very good one for that. If you like deep carry, excellent knife for that. Love this deep carry clip. It, it, it disappears in the hand, feels amazing, as well as the ergos with the two grips you have here. They're both great. Good jimping, nice, wide, slicey blade. Another knife, very, very hard to go wrong with. The Kaiser Sheepdog Flipper Delete, $79, I believe. Very, very hard to go wrong with. Of course, I'll have all these knives linked below. So if you guys uh, see when you want, uh, hop on over there and get yourself one. But that is the Kaiser Sheepdog. And next up, we have got the Artisan Cutlery Sirius. One of my favorite knives in the past couple of years. Um, and not just in the sub $100 range. One of my favorite knives over the past couple of years, period. Like, period. It's just amazing. Love the blade shape. Um, love the overall profile of the design in open and closed position. It's just very good. This milled flat titanium pocket clip here. Tell you what, you get your fingers on that. Excellent place to deploy that blade with that excellent front flipper. Very smooth action. Nice slicey blade. Very nice edge. Nice long blade. This guy's coming in at over three and a half inches, I believe. Maybe not by much, but I think it's just the overall design and appearance of the knife. It, the blade looks bigger than it is, if that makes sense. Or at least longer. Maybe not big overall, but definitely longer than it may actually be. But a very, very nice, useful blade. Very nice, uh, somewhat casual design. It, it doesn't really scream tactical to me, um, but it may not be exactly gentlemanly. It's somewhere in between that. Maybe a nice casual gentleman's carry. I don't know, but it's very, very good. Um, love the copper pivot collar. Um, as you can see, it's starting to get some patina on that guy, which I enjoy very much. And it may just be, it also just may be a bronze something. I, I don't anodize bronze. I'm going to say it's copper i think it's copper that looks like a patina to me uh but nonetheless excellent excellent knife um if you want a ray laconico design one that i'd highly recommend ray laconico knows front flippers as good as anyone in the industry and i've never been disappointed with the ray laconico front flipper as well as thumb studs ray knows exactly where to put those thumb studs to get you some fantastic action and this knife is a prime example of that the artisan cutlery serious now, next up, I have a button lock. This is the Kaiser Original, Kaiser Mojave Original. It's an exclusive from Mojave Outdoors. So if you guys want this knife, you got to get it from Mojave. I will, Like I said, I have it linked, but it'll be through their Amazon store where you can use Wayne's World for 10% off this guy. Um, and for just 84 bucks, it's a pretty good deal as is, but then you get another 10% off and you save an additional $8.40 and you're coming in well under 70 or well under, well under $80. Um, so very hard to go wrong with that. And if you guys want a smooth button lock with excellent ergos, very nice blade steel for a budget knife at 154 cm steel, um, a nice small deep carry clip, um, excellent, excellent everything. This knife, it really is, so far, I would have to say this is my favorite button lock from the year. Um, it has some competition, but man, oh man, I don't know. This is just very, very hard to beat. Very fidgety, very fun to middle finger flick, or middle, or thumb flick, or however you want to deploy this blade. It just works so darn well. The aluminum handles really do give it a pro -tech feel. Um, people are not going to like hearing that, but in my opinion, that is just the case. So, uh, very, very nice, solid offering, the Kaiser Mojave Original. Now, next up is the knife that I don't think I, I'd have to go back and watch the video, but I don't think I specified this. Um, this is my fifth 
probably favorite knife from the group of knives under $100 that I discussed on that video. Uh, this is the Farron Forge Stinger. Um, and it's no surprise because when I originally made my video of best knives under $100, I believe this was number one um, for so many reasons. You have a great blade steel in Nitro V. You have the hand-hugging Ferrum Forge Ergos that um, really are some of the best Ergos in the industry. Uh, I put Ferrum Forge right up there with probably Vox. And I, I think Ray Laconico has some very nice Ergos on his knives as well. Um, but definitely Vox and Ferrum Forge are probably, in my opinion, the two highlighted names of uh, best ergos in the knife industry. There's definitely more. They're not the only two. But when I think of uh, variety and number of models that just have the excellent ergos, those are the first two that come to mind. Um, so you have that and you have this killer aesthetic to this knife. Um, the, the overall size is very favorable to a lot of people. You have a thin slicey blade. You have a thinner handle with a perfect pocket clip that carries nice and deep, fully recessed everything. Uh, you have very nice blade centering here that uh, is pretty much perfect. Zero issue there with blade centering. Uh, flipper is fantastic. For me, this is highlighted with the middle finger flicking that is just absolutely effortless and when I first got this knife I really struggled and all of a sudden it just clicked I just figured out how to do it um, whether you're using just the fat of your you know the tip of your thumb or if you're using your actual fingernail as you guys can see I don't exactly have the longest fingernails I'm a nail biter but I can still dig my middle fingernail in there and just kick it out so so easy and if you have no nails whatsoever you can just as easily kick it out there with, a, with just the end of your middle finger Excellent, excellent knife for fidgetability, for EDC, for quality, carry, durability. This is a knife that's going to last. All, all these knives are going to last, guys. At the end of the day, if you're not being stupid with your knives, um, any knife that you see in this video, and really just about any knife you ever see on my channel, if you use it as just a typical EDC knife, it's going to last plenty long enough. You're going to get your money's worth of it. Um, the only time that durability in a knife really comes into huge question is if you're really, you know, beating the hell out of your knives. And, um, the, you know, actually what is beating the hell out of your knife, that's a little subjective to each person too. Some people use knives kind of hard and think, oh, I'm using it really hard. And other people, you know, uh, open cans of paint by prying the tips of the knives. I mean, there's so many different ways you can use your knife. Um, but at the end of the day... A lot of the knives, like I said, pretty much all the knives, they're going to last plenty long enough for you. Um, durability on a knife that I've had on my channel, I've never really had any concern. If I have, I've pointed it out. But um, the quality of knives has really gone up over the past four or five years, ever since, uh, you know, with the social media age and, and everything getting out there. And, you know, I think companies really discover what is very important to everyone buying knives. So... Um, durability has never really been a big issue. It's not a big issue with this. I kind of way got into the weeds there on durability of knives, but going back to just the stinger, it's just really good at this price. Um, I believe there's still some left at 8181 for Chicago Knife Works. If there, if there is, I'll link them in this video. If not, I will have another link to where you can pick these up for, I think they're still under a hundred bucks or like $99, um, without that sale. But regardless, they're still a great knife. It's one of my favorites and it's one I really, really enjoy. And now last up is the knife that I forgot to put in the video um, for good reason. But first of all, this is the knife. It's the CJRB Rhea. It's an oldie. It's a goodie. It should have been on the list. It's very, very affordable. It's coming in and I believe anywhere from the $39 up to $80 range, depending on the model you get. There's so many flavors of this knife out there. The reason it wasn't in my video on Friday was because I actually left them in a pair of pants that I wore to church one week. Um, so I, I went to go use those pants yesterday to wear for Easter and uh, I found the knife in there and I thought, oh crap, it should have been on that list. So yeah, that's my excuse. Not a good one, but a valid one. But let's talk about the Rhea for a second. Um, Feels great in hand, nice kind of smaller blade coming in at like 2.83 inches, somewhere along those lines. Um, so you're under that three inch mark, excellent thumb stud action. If you are a lefty, you can middle finger flick this blade pretty darn easily. I'm not a lefty and I'm uh, not very good at operating knives with my left hand, but as you can see here, just a little push and 
the blade comes out. Um, yeah, obviously for a, a true lefty, it's going to be very easy. Um, but you just have a lot of nice things about the Rhea. Now, this is the Knife Center exclusive Rhea with pocketwood scales, which I tend to like probably the most out of the offering so far. Um, I just really wish that CGRB logo wasn't so big. But other than that, it's a fantastic knife. Action's killer. Blade's killer. Blade steel is pretty nice with the Air RPM 9. Nothing super crazy special, but it's definitely good enough for any type of EDC use. Um, carries well in the pocket with that milled clip. Um, looks good. Just can't go wrong with it. It's another one. It, it's, it, it'll it's probably always be on my best knives under $100, or at least it should be, um, because I just like it that much. And it's one that the design really just really fits me and what I look for in uh, kind of the design language of a knife, especially when under 100 bucks. You really can't go wrong with it. The CJRB Rhea. So there we go, guys. There's my mention to the Rhea. I put that one dead center because I completely dropped the ball on that one. But here's the rest of this week's carry. Let me know what you think. As always, hope you guys enjoyed this one. And as always, let me know what you have in your pocket for this week. Always look forward to seeing that. And, uh, kind of uh just just always you know kicking it with the knife community i love seeing your guys' comments i love interacting with you um hope you guys enjoyed this one hope you have a killer week hope you get a lot accomplished hope you have a safe week and until the next one i'm out